Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a highlight and contour routine, I guess. And I'm kind of going to be showing you guys how I highlight and contour my face, obviously. I don't know why I just said that two times, but little disclaimer, I guess. Um, it's starting to get hot again. So that means my air conditioner has to be on because or else I'm going to die. Um, because heat rises and I'm upstairs and it gets so hot in my room and I remember last year during the summer a lot of people were like oh my gosh your air is so makes so much noise do like do you clean it yes I clean it and I just cleaned it actually this thing is really big though because my room is really big and smaller with smaller airs do not fit in my windows because my windows have like a space I don't know I don't really want to explain because my windows are just small and they don't fit a normal air and those air conditioners will not circulate air in my room so I have to have a big one so it makes a lot of noise so sorry if that bothers you I'm gonna try and talk louder but yeah so today we're gonna do my highlight and contour routine and I'm pretty excited because um, I've been doing this for a while now and I like it so let's just get started with this video okay so for the first product we're gonna start off with our contour I like to do my nose and I don't have anything on except for primer so for my nose I mean for my primer that I have all on my face I have a oil on my forehead because my forehead gets really dry my nose also gets really dry but it gets if I put the oil it makes it oily throughout the day so I can't do that um, and then my face is kind of normal to dry so I do have my benefit the poor the poor professional sorry and then for the oil that I was saying just in case you are curious um, I like to use the Smashbox so it'll finish primer oil so for our nose we are gonna get started on the nose so I'm gonna use the KKW contour sticks this is in the shade tan contour um, I also really like this product. I do use this a lot because it's very easy to work with. Um, this is a dollar. So if you guys see my dollar, um, testing a dollar makeup, you guys can check it out. A lot of those products are super good and I do use this often, but um, I kind of like the color of this one a little bit better. But you guys will probably still be using this because I like to switch things up. And... Um, so yeah, this is a dollar from Shot and Say. It's the AOA Studio Sculpt Effects Contour Stick, and I get mine in this shade Spice. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna be using this one today, and we we are going to contour our nose. So my nose is very very unproportionate. So I like to do two straight lines down the sides of my nose and this side I swear is bigger here like I feel like it's bigger there I don't know why but I'm pretty sure it is because I obviously do my makeup and I can tell I'm already messing up and then I like to do a little dot there and some people do a dot on the top but I don't I don't like how it looks on me so yeah. So we're going to start with that. And then for my brush that I like to blend this out with, I use the same brush that I use in my powdered contour or powdered bronzer or whatever for my nose. I use the same brush. This is the Morphe E62 brush. It, it just looks like this. I think this is the perfect contour nose contour brush. And I kind of just, sometimes I pat, sometimes I rub, but I'm going to kind of like blends together by patting it. So underneath my, um, since I don't have any foundation on, I like to leave this part pretty harsh so that way it can show through underneath my makeup. And this is kind of like my base, I guess. My base of my contour. I just like to leave this all pretty harsh so don't yell at me that it's not blended. Okay. 
So I'm gonna do at least eight, same for my cheekbones. I'm gonna use the same color. Um, I just messed it up, but it's fine. So for this, I'm gonna take the Morphe Y9 brush. I want a smaller brush, actually. That is done. I leave it harsh again for the same reasons. And now we are going to move on to foundation. So I'm not gonna do a full like face routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation really quickly. I am going to be posting an updated everyday makeup routine. So I will show like all the rest of the products in that video. Um, but this is just specifically highlighting and contouring. Um, it, my cheeks did get covered up a lot, but my nose didn't, So, and that's what I really hear about, is my nose contour. Um, so now I kind of have a guideline for my nose and kind of where I want it to be at. So I don't do the foundation on my forehead because I hate when my eye under eyes crease and when my forehead creases because when I do my under eyes, I look up and my forehead creases. So I don't want to crease to my foundation, so I do that last. So we're going to go back to the nose and do the same thing basically. So another thing that I don't like about this, or not that I, it's not another thing, but this is the only thing I don't like about this product, is that when, after I apply my foundation, when I apply it back on my nose, it kind of makes it to turn into this ashy color because your foundation is a different color and it's kind of mixing so I don't like that but it's fine so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in so now what I like to do the excess um, foundation that I do have on my sponge I like to go over the sides and kind of blend it all together So now that we have that, we are going to go in with the um, highlighting shade in the KKW. This is just, I think that this is just, yeah. So I'm going to run a little bit of this down my nose and at the very tip here. You can obviously do this with a, um, a concealer, but I like to do it with this cream because it doesn't get like super crazy because if you put um, cream and you start to blend it out with your sponge, it gets onto the contour and I do not like that. So I like that I have better control with a cream and I'm just going to blend it out. I'm going to blend it out with this Morphe M166, it's just this flat brush um, and it kind of gives me control over where this product is at and yeah and if you kind of lose your contour at any point you can always go back in with your brush but okay so now we have our nose it's not done um but it's done for now and we are going to go back in with our cream I don't go too crazy with the contour on my face. I want to turn off my air so bad. I'm so sorry. But I don't go too crazy with my face. I just do a line. And the rest of my contour is with my... Um, it's with my powder. So I don't go too crazy, but... And I always kind of like to push my product up, don't bring it down. So, swivel up in upward motions. This side always looks different from my other side, so.
And now for our under eyes, we are going to go in with our Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. And I also am going to be using the shade Light Medium Honey. This is a little bit lighter. I think it's one shade lighter. Um, but let me show you guys how I apply this. So for the darker shade, I like to apply this here. And then for the lighter shade, I don't put a lot of concealer at all. Um, it makes my under eyes look really bad. But I just apply it underneath. And if you guys crease under your eyelids, try not putting a lot of concealer. Um, it's just, it makes things so much better. So for my powder that I set with, I use the RCMA No Color Powder. You can find this at, I found mine at Vanity Fox, the makeup store. I think that's what it's called. Um, you can also look it up online to see where you can get it. But I really like it. I just put mine in here because the container that it comes with is not good. But... So that color underneath makes a big difference. Um, it kind of brightens everything up. And I don't put a ton of powder. I just set it where it needs to be set and then my under eye doesn't look as bad afterwards because usually if I put a lot of powder I look like crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and do that same thing on the other eye I definitely don't want to I don't waste any time by applying that powder under there because my under eyes crease so quickly like I have to do one at a time. So I'm going to kind of show you guys the up close of my under eyes. And now we are going to be doing um, the foundation on my forehead. So this is just like normal. Also, by the way, if you guys are curious what eyelashes I'm using, I'm using my own eyelashes in the style Nova because that's my favorite, favorite lash. Um, yeah, so my website is always in my description. And then I go ahead and set my entire face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Light, Light number 15. I set my forehead first because it creases. Also, if you're curious what I used on my eyes, I used the, the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And also, I do want to mention, I don't put all these products on my face. A lot of the times, if I'm in a rush, I won't cream contour. So, it's just kind of, this is what I do when I do cream contour. It's not an everyday thing. Sometimes I like it to be an everyday thing. Sometimes I don't. It literally just depends on how I'm feeling that day. So the next step that we are going to move on to is bronzing up the face. So my favorite thing to use is the Butter Bronzer and Sunkiss Bronzer. My bronzers and contours literally change all the time. It kind of just depends on what I'm feeling. Another one I like is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil in Deep. And another thing I like to use is the Kylie Cosmetics bronzing powder in the shade almond so i'm just giving guys options um this one is a drugstore one it is um pricey to me it's 16 dollars but it's really good and i'm going to be using this with the morphe m106 brush and again bringing the product outward also really like this shade for my nose contour and like I said I use the same brush for powder and cream so we're gonna go in on this brush our nose contouring brush and kind of lightly 
go over this to kind of bring everything back into the face. And then I like to take my sides of my fingers and really gently kind of rub it all in like really gently so you're not rubbing off your foundation sometimes it's a little less but i kind of like to have it a little bit more shown because i do wear my glasses and so we are going to deepen up the cheeks with contour so this is my contour kit from anastasia and this is from light to medium the shade and i just take these two here and mix them and kind of stay very close to this portion here and I'm gonna take, I like to mix my brushes cream with contour because I don't know. This is a Morphe Y9 brush and I'm gonna take those two shades that I just said and I'm gonna stay very close to the ear or the hairline. And we haven't done the forehead because honestly I forgot. So we're gonna go back in with our butter, butter bronzer and bronze up our forehead. just push everything into the hairline I just washed my hair so it's really fun to take out all the makeup from my hair and then with the contour kits I'm just going to be taking those two shades and kind of adding them to the forehead And you can use whatever is excess or left on the brush to kind of put some color down here. Um, sometimes I'll chisel out my jawline, but usually I don't just because I'm lazy. But that is that. And now you can take whatever blush you want this time. And so now with that same um, RCMA translucent powder, we are going to take the Morphe sponge, the sculpting sponge, I forget what it's called, but we're going to take some powder on the back of that. And what I like to do is I like to smile and that's where I like to put the bake instead of putting like a straight line. I think it looks better. And it kind of like curves underneath. I don't know, I feel like it gives it a better look. Sometimes I'll also do the nose, but I kind of like how it looks right now. You can do it under the nose, but I'm not going to today. So now I'm going to take a bigger fluffy brush. This is the Beauty Boulevard V1 brush. I got it at the same store that I got that RCMA powder. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's vanity something. I don't know if it's vanity box. I think it's vanity box. And at this point, we are now going to be taking our setting spray. I've been really liking the Morphe, the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Um, it's really good. Um, but the thing is, is, my face gets very oily when it's hot and it's starting to get hot. So I don't know if this is a great idea. I'm just going to spray my Max, Max Fix Plus and I have to bring my shirt all the way up to cover my chest because my chest will break out so and I don't want that so and I also don't like to get this in my hair so I probably look really crazy right now oh my god it just shot out this thing is where, why are all my sprayers broken like this thing is shooting out at me this one because this is the only one that semi works this one doesn't even work itself i have to spray it super close to my face to fill anything so and this one kind of smells like a perfume to me so the reason i do this is to show that way i can have a brighter highlight and the one i've been liking recently is the laura geller gilded honey um it always switches and I'm sure you guys know that because a lot of the times I really like my Amrazy and I really like Champagne Pop. I really like Colourpop's highlights as well and 
and then if you guys the dollar highlight from Shop and Say is super good as well. So yeah, there's a lot of options, but today I'm gonna go with Gilded Honey. And I'm gonna be taking this on my Morphe R36 brush. highlight this is the morphe e36 brush and i like to take this and just place it on the tip of my nose instead of um the whole thing just because my glass is covered anyway so it doesn't really make a difference and actually i'm going to put some in my inner corner i'm going to use that same brush because i feel like i need a little pop And I all, what did I, what, I don't know what just came out of my mouth, but I was going to say that I don't put um, eyeshadow underneath my eyes or uh, mascara because it just doesn't look good on my face personally, I don't think. Um, so that's what I don't do. Um, but that's pretty much wraps up my entire, like, corn. <laughs> Why am I like this? Why can I never speak? So we are pretty much going to wrap this video up. That was my highlight and contour routine. I hope that the air didn't bother you guys too much in the background. It bothers me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I will see you guys in my next one.